so yeah guys, sorry about that, I forgot to click the record button till later. I was I was talking to you and then I forgot to click the record button and then I also forgot to click the commentary button. But as you can tell, we won 2-1, we Dorn scoring an 81st minute winner for us after we sat 1-1 the whole game. Alves scoring again, but good start and let's see if we've caught up any on Celtic after that. Hopefully they lost their game, but I doubt it. Yeah, no, they didn't lose their game either. So it looks like it's going to come down to goal difference again. So guys, here we go. Hopefully we can get some revenge on Partick, but this time it's going to be through a sim game. So Joe Dodu scores to put his 1-0 up. It's a good start. Celtic are beating Ross County 1-0. Dorn scores a penalty to put his 2-0 up. That's good as well. Ross County are still... Celtic are now 2-0 up themselves. We've went 3-0 up, so hopefully they don't match us. 4-0 up. Brilliant, we want to keep this stuff going so we can keep our goal scoring and 4-1, that's great, we we'll go back down to 3 goal difference. A little disappointing, but we'll take it. So let's do some trading quick. So, so far this episode we've won both our sim games, which is good, because we need to be winning, but Celtic are still winning as well, so we need to try and get that goal difference swing. That's for sure. By the end of this group is when it matters who wins the league, I think. It's not as if we're not going to get Europe this year, but we want to try and snatch it, and it would be amazing if we did, but we've got three games left. One of them will be against Celtic. Let's look at what won. So our, set, our last game of the season will be against Celtic, and it could be the decider overall if, it, if we can get the goal difference caught up a wee bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the next two games and see if we can score as many goals as possible, leading us up to the finale game against Celtic. Hopefully Celtic drop points, that would be even better. So we don't even so it's down to just us beating them. But you can only get what you're given, so let's give it a good shot and see what we can do. So Windass is going to be playing, as you can see the team where he used to play for Accrington because I feel like he could do a quick job for us in there, especially since Till's tired. Most of the team's a little tired, but that happens at the end of the season once the split comes round. Split is only against the top half teams, and that is why we've got Kilmarnock now. And then, as you can tell, after the Celtic game, we will have the Scottish Cup final, which basically means that we are going to have... Next episode is going to be a mega episode because it's going to be the winner of the game against also the winner of the league, sorry, who wins the league and then the winner of the Scottish Cup. Couldn't think at all what I was trying to say there, even though I started the point. But let's see how we do. We need to get as many goals as possible against Kilmarnock. Celtic are going out and beating teams 2-3-0, so we would actually need something like 6 to start making a dent. But let's win it first and then think about the goals after. You saw last time we thought just about the goals and it didn't go well against Partick. That would have been a great start to go 1-0 up. In the middle of Jack. Jack's going to try and give it to Windass, but can't get it. Bruno's going to sweep up. And instead, they're now going to get a really good chance because the ball to Bruno was not good enough. And the ball's going straight back through. Has Tavernier got the legs on McKenzie? Nope, McKenzie's going to keep getting away. And he scores out of Fodringham. We're now 1-0 down against Kilmarnock. And we are bottling the comeback. That's for sure. Chris Boyd. Try to run through, but Cardoza sweeps up really well. And we're playing the ball over the top to Morelos. It's a lovely ball. He's through. And he scores. 1-1. We're back in the game. Alfredo Morelos doing as usual and scoring. Lovely, lovely ball over the top. And Morelos just used a quick turn of pace to get away. Windass with the assist. We're back in the game. 12 goals he's got this season. And we're unlucky there. Hopefully we'll get one more chance to get it back in. Nope, we don't. Instead, they might have a chance. But no, nope. Brian Jack sweeps up. And we go in half time 1-1. We were hoping again to get more goals, but instead it looks like it might be more, more problems for us. 1-1, one, one. let's get straight back out. Now we've got Tavenier, 
He's going to whip it in. Beautiful ball. Straight back across for Arms and we almost latch on to it. Clever play for Arms to lay it back in rather than try an awkward angle shot or header. Josh Windass manages to fight his way through. Oh, and it's an amazing save for the Kilmarnock goalkeeper. Brilliant save. No! And Morelos misses a sitter. From the penalty spot, passes it wide. Terrible, terrible finish for you. Our top goal scorer this year, I'm sure. Here we have Ryan Jack. Lovely. Does well. Windass got the ball here. We let out Tavernier. Lays out Ryan Jack. He's running through. Can he get in? Lovely ball. Oh, and another brilliant tackle for the command of the defender. And it turns out it wasn't even a deflection. It's command defenders hit it off us. Sorry, and it's a deflection. Yes, can Dace, can he make a start right for the start? Nope. Kamarnock are just covering the back amazingly. So hard to find a way through. But when you can't find a way through, just shoot for far out. Josh Windass with an absolute screamer. And he's been a brilliant choice to put on. He's got an assist and a goal in this game. He's causing Kamarnock problems. So like our 2-0 win, we score early then late. Sadly this time they got a goal first. Late straight back Tavernier. Get away with it. Wasn't the cleanest. Can you get it out to Arns? Yep. And Arns, brilliant tackle on Arns. He almost got a chance to get through it again but he fell over through the tackle. Brilliant tackle. Kamarnock defence has been outstanding this game. Been really unlucky to go 2-1 down. But Candace is through. And that's game. Lovely, lovely ball. Windass with his second assist along with his goal this game. And Candace just showed his energy and pace to go right by the Kamarnock man in between him and the goalie. And as the goalie's coming out, slide it by him. There we go. See? Straight in. And top corner. Beautiful play. And that also gives us two goal difference added on, which is always good. Now, this is where we need to try and break. And it's fell Kamarnock's goalie. What's he going to do here? Oh, no, he ran away for it. And we win 3-1. Wasn't the most convincing, but solid. So, sadly guys, as you can tell, after our struggle against Kilmarnock, we've actually fell further behind them in goal difference. So it's going to have to be some game, next game, to even get a chance. Or Celtic can lose. But let's get straight into that as well. I'll be back. So guys, as we know, big game, big team. And we really need to get a lot of fucking goals in this game. But let's do it. So, this is the tactic we're going to be playing. Morelos up top, best striker on the team. Windass in behind because heroics in the last game. He deserves it. Candace out right because he is our best right mid. Arms out left, Dorns and Jack are most solid midfielders, John left back, Tavernier right back, the assist king, and Cardozo and Alves centre back, solid, hopefully their pace doesn't get exploited and fodering him in goals because he's the best option we have the now, the now, because we all know who's coming next year, Mr. Impossible to pronounce, if anyone wants to comment and tell me how you pronounce it, that's great, so... As per Ryan Jok. Let's get right into this. We've seen these a hundred times. So we'll get straight through them. And let's get in. We've beat them 3-0 so far this season. Let's try and add to that. Let's hope they don't beat us. Because we've crumbled a couple of times in this season. So, here we go. Oh, Tavernier right in with the power. Love a lady. And then Windass straight in with a terrible pass. Terrible. John gets in, wins the ball. That's a terrible pass. John instead set them up. And thank God it was a god awful shot. 
John, mate, what are you doing? Causing us problems. <laughs>